am in awe of his achievement and it's been my privilege to have worked closely with him for more than a year and a half to help bring his ideas into the spotlight. I mean, that, that, that sort of logic stream, that absolute desire to follow a, a logic stream from beginning to end, I think um, has opened some really fascinating doors. I'm just interested in, in hearing the whole uh, you know, thoughts that Mark has. Mark has brought up some really great information and it's, it's awesome to add to the compendium of data that we have out there. I think he's really nicely highlighted that it's all very much context dependent. So I think we're more or less on the same page. In terms of my reading of, of what he's been doing, the story gets more and more exciting as we move through it. I think it's a very different um, mindset you get from reading the book than just going through the presentation. It's, um, it's, a, it's a, an impressive book. Uh, I think that there's a lot of development that can come from this and, the, and it's reorienting folks in their understanding. And um, I applaud you for your effort and uh, for Robin for you making the, 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 this whole uh, presentation available. Hello everybody, a big welcome. Uh, wonderful to have such a big audience of international specialists, experts in cancer from all sorts of different fields. So today we're conducting a scientific evaluation of Mark's thinking, rather unusually in this public way. It's hard to get to grips with the kind of implications of this moment if Mark really is on to something. We might just be looking back at today as one of those moments in history and saying, ah, oh, I was there. What I found is that the further I've looked at Mark's work, the more common sense and logic I've encountered. 